I'd say out of any subject in school, math is probably the hardest subject to like master for most like students in high school and college and just in school in general. I feel like math is probably the hardest to like conquer and really excel in you, unless you know what you're doing, which I guess that sounds like common sense. But math is much more like than you think it is. It's not like, oh yeah, you just keep practicing math and you'll get it. It's not like, you know, English or science where if you keep reading more about what you're doing, you'll get better at it. It's not like that. Math is different. And I feel like that's why a lot of people just get stuck up on math because they don't know what they're doing. But why should you listen to me for math advice? Well, well, I topped math in every year from year 7 to year 10 and got an award for it which I'll probably show up on screen right now. That, I guess, is like my CV, uh, in a way. This is like my evidence that you should listen to me. Uh, and if you don't want to, that's fine. I mean, I did top my, I was in my top 1%. I was, the, I was the best person in math for four years in a row in my year group. So this is coming from like a math expertise here. Like, I'm not gonna give you some wishy-washy bullshit advice. Um, like, I'm gonna give you like straight, cold, brutal advice that you need to do right now. Um, and I think we should just get right into it. The best way I think you can get better at math or excel math is to be around someone who is really, really good at math. Now, if there's like a student in your class that's like, it, it, this is if you wanna get good at math. Like let's say your grades are horrible and your parents are, you know, they're chasing you up for it. The best way to get better at math, like you can 10 times, um, like, you know, get better at math by like 10 times, is just to be around the person who is the best, uh, you know, who is the best in your class or is, who is the best at math. Now I'm not saying just be around him, you actually have to talk to him, you have to like ask him questions, you have to be like, oh, is this correct, like how do I do this? You just have to be around uh, and talk to the best person in math in your class, that could be your parents, that could be your teacher, or that could just be another person in your class, that could even be a friend if you're lucky. Now, how do I know this? I didn't do this, I didn't implement this, um, but my friend, I remember my friend from high school, um, he was, he was not horrible at math, but he was very bad at math. He got like D's and E's, which I guess that is horrible. Uh, he got D's and E's in math in year seven, eight, and nine. He was, he put barely any effort in it. He didn't know what he was doing, and in year 10, um, we got into the same math class and since he's like, you know, he was like my best friend. He still is my best friend, I guess um, We sat next to each other in math and he just like he just asked me I don't, I don't remember what subject we we're doing. I think we were doing I mean we did a lot of them, but we were just sitting next to each other. He, he was just asking me questions and At the end of the term he got a B in math even though he put probably the same amount of effort into math as he did in year 7 8 or 9 he got a B, he went from a D and E, he went from consistent D's and E's for three years to getting a B in this first term sitting next to me. And I asked him, like, bro, how are you so good at math? Like, how, how have you gone so, have, how have you um, improved so much? And he was like, bro, it's all because of you. And I'm not trying, oh, I'm bragging, but like, I did not, I, I wasn't like meaning to teach him. I was just, you know, just telling him what's, you know, how to do things that, uh, my way, how to do, like, how you can do math efficiently. And I, I wasn't even like giving him the answers. I was just helping him. I didn't even know I was like teaching or coaching him as such. And he, and I was like, whoa, like, have you like, did you do homework? Like, what, what's, what's going on? And he was just like, bro, it's all because of you. My math teacher sucked. Um, in year seven, eight, and nine, I didn't even know what I was doing. And the, even this one still sucks. But since because of you, I've been able to get. He like he literally got like an eighty-five percent on his um on the last test of that term, which is an A over here. So. Yeah, I think the best, like, it, by far the best thing you can do is just surround yourself with someone that's good at math. That's 99% better than any other, like, you know, oh, memorizing time tables or, like, you know, doing your test sheet, like, 100 times. Like, n none of that, like, comes even close to just being, like, sitting next to someone who is good at math and then asking him questions. Like, that is by far the best way even like for the rest of the year he just did so good in math and I remember um, there was a there was a seating plan which basically means like you know the teacher chooses where you sit where you sit sorry and she sat me and my best friend away from each other 
and he got like a 67 on his test in that in that subject because we were sitting away from each other in that subject and i'm not lying i'm i'm being dead ass serious here you have to trust me he got like a 67 percent when we weren't sitting next to each other so i'm like this is like evidence that sitting next to someone who is good at math will 100 percent help you get better at math. it's easily the best thing you can do like there's nothing else you can do to get better at math like i guess you can talk to your parents but you're not going to be with your parents during like a school like a school lesson and you know you're not going to be with them during school you could maybe talk to the teachers but again the teachers are probably just busy doing something else like grading homework and stuff best thing is you can just hang um sit next to someone who's good at math maybe if your friend is really good at math just sit next to him now i guess this is kind of stereotypical but if there's like a person who's moved like let's say you're in a like a white country like i'm in australia let's say you're in a white country right let's say there's a student in your class that's moved from another country like a preferably an asian country you want to talk to him because again this sounds stereotypical but i'm asian as well i'm indian so i i can say by first hand experience bro like he is going to be good at math he's going to be like maybe not english maybe not maybe not even science like i'm not that good at science either but math especially he's going to be really good at someone who has moved from another country is going to be excellent in math and that's that's also like the type of people like again this sounds stereotypical and if he has moved from another country but he's not actually good at math then obviously don't sit next to him but yeah m people who have moved from one country to another um are probably going to be uh good at math naturally and yeah, honestly i can't really like you know oh i did this productivity task to get 100 times better at math i was just born in a country where it was just, everything was really strict and math was just shoved in your face for like three hours and like you were doing like year 10 level stuff in like year two so i can't really say like what i did to get better at math i was just good at math as a child like so i can't really say anything i mean i was, I was literally being taught like um math that was that that would that would be taught like six years ahead in another country so that's why i'm probably really really good at math I also, I guess, just I, I just also really enjoy math. I don't, I don't think a lot of people do, but I'm actually one of the people that just really enjoy like working with numbers and statistics. So I'm just really good at math. Um, and I, I guess you can do like m memorizing your timetables and like you know, uh, uh, what is it, like doing your uh, exam like a hundred times like revising your test your test like a hundred times or revising your, revising your assessment a hundred times you can do that that will help but again it, it it really just comes down to who you who you surround yourself with if you are you know if you observe and like look and ask questions um to someone who is like a hundred times better like a hundred times like who's much better than a math than you are you will become more like them by just asking questions and looking at how, the way, looking at how they do things. I, honestly, I don't really know what to say. There's no like, oh, three things you can do to get 95% on your next math test. It's really just surrounding yourself with a really, with a person who's really good at math. That's basically all I can say.